Welcome to another one of my wonderful GeoGebra tutorials. This one is going to be all about the basics of the slider tool. So let's get right into it. Um, the slider tool is located in the second to last drop down menu. It's the top tool. So I'm just going to select that. And so let's just create one so I can show you what it does. So I'm just going to click somewhere in my graphics window to create the slider. And now this little window pops up and it gives me several options. Um, I can change the name of it. Um, this is essentially just a variable, so usually just call it uh, a letter that is appropriate for whatever you're going to use it for. So we're going to create some sliders that um, control a, a line in slope intercept form. So the first slider I'm going to make, we'll just call it M for the slope. And now if I wanted to, I could have it uh, count as an angle, and this would count in degrees, or as an integer but I'm just going to leave it as a basic number. Um, there's some other menus here, we're not going to worry about those right now, I'll show you those later. So I'm just going to change the minimum to negative 10. This is the minimum value that the slider will be allowed to go to, and then the max as well, we'll do that as positive 10. And the increment is how much it counts by. I could change this to count by 10s, I could have it count by ones, but I like the tenths, so we'll just put it back at point one. And I'm going to click apply, and this little segment's going to show up with a point on it. So I'm going to grab my move tool, and I can move the point along the segment, and that changes the value of the variable m to whatever it's set to out here in the graphics window. And there are a lot of things that we can use this for, and one of them is to control functions or equations. So again we're going to use this to uh, construct a line in slope intercept form. So I need the y-intercept parameter b, so I'm going to grab the slider tool again and I'm going to name it b and we'll just leave the default min, max, and increment. And then I'm just going to click apply and so now I've established my two parameters as sliders. And it's very important that you create these first. So now I'm going to go down here to the input bar and I'm just going to type in the standard y equals m times x plus b. And because m and b are parameters that we've already created, my line is going to use those values of m and b. And what's really cool about the slider is that I can change the slider and it will change in the equation as well changing the slope and the y-intercept. Um, I usually like, if someone's going to be moving these around, I mean this is pretty small, so I usually like to make them a lot a bigger, so I can just pull down my little quick graphics menu and change the color, let's say I want it to be red, and I usually make it the max thickness you can make it dotted. I usually like the dotted one. Um, down here, I'm going to change this to be blue, and we'll do the same max and make it dotted. So now I want to make the slider actually longer. So I'm just going to right click on one of them and go to Object Properties. And so the first thing that shows up again is I can I can change my interval, uh, the min, the max, the increment if I want to. Um, if I want to, I can make it show up vertically but we'll just leave it horizontally. And then here's what I want to change, the width. So right now this is 100 wide. So I'm going to change this to, say, 250. And then I can actually select my other slider right here in this little menu for M, and I'm going to make that one 250 as well. And so now I have my sliders that control my line. And this could be used for many, many things. I could be talking about quadratics in standard form. I could have a slider for A, B, and C, or pretty much any, any function that has parameters. And this will allow, if you're a teacher, allow your students to really see visually how these parameters truly affect the, the line and how it looks or whatever function you're creating. It's just a, a very helpful tool for that. 